Chocolate, who doesn't love chocolate? Now this is the easiest chocolate mousse recipe you'll ever, ever find. Now there's only three steps to this mousse. We're gonna add some egg yolks into our chocolate and then slowly fold our cream in and then put it into our molds and let it set. Don't ever just put chocolate in a pan and try and heat it up slowly because you'll burn it. Once you burn it, you ruin it completely. So we've got a double boiler there, pour our chocolate in, and we're just gonna let it sit there and melt. As you can see now, that that's melting beautifully. It's got this beautiful shine to it. Put it into a fresh bowl. Right, now that that's cooled for a minute, we're just gonna add our egg yolks. Right, we're gonna slowly add our cream. Just a little bit by a little bit. That beautiful shine to it, yeah? Absolutely to die for. Just remember, we're actually folding the cream through, we're not whipping it through, so nice and gentle. The reason being, you don't want to whip it too much because it'll start to separate. Now we've got our beautiful little moulds. Just going to grab our mousse and just fill them up. Now depending on your mood, you know, you can actually just fill them up and let them sit over the top like that and let them set. We can be a little bit more pedantic, which I'm going to be this time. And just grab a knife and just scrape them off so they're nice and even. Straight into the fridge, let them set for about half an hour before you start to serve them. So here we have it, our mousses that have only been in there for half an hour, but you can see they're actually set firm. Now to garnish these, really easy, just a little bit of fresh cream on top. And some roasted hazelnuts. You can put some berries on there if you really wanted to, but I just like the simple idea of just chocolate and nuts. It's a bit like a chocolate sundae, if you ask me. Simple and delicious chocolate mousse with toasted hazelnuts.